are live in the living room. This month, it's Return of the Burger King, baby. We'll look at, see how much sponsorship there is. There is, you know, we do have a proof of purchase here for a Burger King Big Kids meal. Find your way through Middle Earth is the map on the bag. Uh, Middle Earth is significantly smaller than I remember it being. But, uh... uh nope. Good. Does it go like so? It is a long and winding road. And then... There. I found my way through Middle Earth. Now I can go to the Grey Havens. There was an Amazon sponsorship, and that was foreshadowing. Uh, when it comes to Lord of the Rings adaptations. Unlock the magic door. This door only opens when the secret words are spoken. Hold the bag at eye level at the bottom of the panel, near your nose, to read the first word. Make sure the bag is all the way open. The bag is open. You know, valid. Then move the bag half turn clockwise to read the second magic word. And of course, the magic words are speak, friend. And uh, also the answer's there in case you... um. Couldn't figure it out. And the disclaimer at the bottom. TM and copyright 2001 Burger King Brands Incorporated. Burger King Corporation outside the USA. All rights reserved. Printed on recycled paper con contains 50% post-consumer material. The Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, the characters, names, and places therein. Trademarked the Salzanes Company, EBA Tolkien Enterprises. Under license to New Line Productions, Inc. Copyright 2001 New Line Productions. All rights reserved. While big kids' toys are suitable for children over three years of age, the film The Lord of the Rings is rated PG-13 and may contain material that is inappropriate for younger children. I don't know if this was the first kids' meal toy for a PG-13 uh, movie. Probably not, but it might have been an early one. Discover the true one ring. All rings are alike, or are they? Find the ring that is different, and you will find the one ring. And uh, it's pretty easy because that's a different pattern, even though the one ring should have no pattern on it whatsoever. Solve Bilbo's riddles. One. The one ring glimmers, bright as a star. Can you spell all that without any Oz? And of course, the answer is A-L-L-T-H-A-T. -L -L -T. That's how you spell all that without any Rs. And number two, actually from Tolkien, a box without hinges, key, or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. There was a shift when PG-13 movies became like family blockbusters and not movies that were inappropriate for younger kids. I know the first Disney-branded movie to be rated PG-13 was uh, Pirates. And then the Adventures newsletter. Galadriel, an elven queen, has a magical mirror. Read Galadriel's message reflected in a mirror to reveal its secret. Now, that's not quite uh, how the mirror of Galadriel works, but it is her catchphrase. Even the, smallest, uh, even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Forge fellowship rings for you and your friends. Have an adult help you cut the gold band. Then wrap the band around your finger while you have an adult cult and cut and tape the ring to fit your finger. So they're encouraging you to cut the edge of this and make a friendship ring that has the one ring to rule them all uh, uh, inscription on it. So uh, that's a really bad friendship ring to give your friends. Uh, the Fellowship was not about trading rings. I don't know if they saw the movie or read the book before uh, beginning this. Frodo is a hobbit and also known as the ring bearer. He needs more colorful clothes. Grab some markers or crayons and color Frodo how you want him to look. Well, I don't play by their rules. I'm doing colored pencils. So let's start with the hobbit feet. What color should we make Frodo's feet? All right, the vote is for blue feet. So let's go with uh, true blue here. We could do two feet of two different colors. So if anyone has a vote for the other foot, it feels almost sacrilegious to be desecrating this thing that we've saved for 22 years. But we also have at least four of them. Oh yeah, Batman Returns McDonald's, of course. I, I I forgot about that one. Since all the votes are for blue, let's just do a different blue. Let's do indigo blue for the other foot. And while I'm doing this, uh, what color do we want Frodo's face to be? Okay, the hairy blue feet very much make him look like um, a certain X-Men character who um, may have had a cameo recently. I'll start doing a grass green face and then... What color should his cloak be? This might be a collector's item at this point that I am utterly desecrating here. Okay, we got purple and we got brown. I think what we'll do is we'll do a brown left side of the cloak and a purple right side. I will do a sienna brown for the left side of the cloak. And then if anyone has votes for the hands, for what color the hands should be, this brown would not be 
out of place for a hobbity cloak. Red for the hand sounds good for me. Let's do the um the purple here. Parma violet seems to be our best looking purple here. This is beginning to look like a tech Nicola dream coat, as Paul F. Tompkins as Andrew Lloyd Webber might say. He's turning into Saruman of many colors, a thing that the uh, movies ignored because I suspect they didn't know how to uh, dramatize that. Uh, I colored in the ring too, but you know, that's a very uh, that's a very small ring, such a little thing. What color are a hobbit's pants? I could go for some orange pants. I am 36 years old and I'm regressing to childhood coloring in the wrong colors. Actually, I was very rarely a color in the wrong colors kid. I was very much a, no, whatever I color has to adhere to canon kid. I'm sure that was the symptom of something deeper. Yellow's good, so we'll do one leg orange, one leg yellow. And yellow actually barely shows up, but beautiful. Beautiful. This is exactly as Tolkien envisioned him. <laughs> <laughs> he just left the details out. Answer the questions below to continue your quest for the ring. As you begin your journey, you encounter a moat. What is a moat? That seems like a, a question we should know before we encounter one. But this is, these are very like a hall runner from Homestar in, in their questioning. A, a small forest creature. B, a water-filled trench that surrounds and protects the castle. C, a three-cornered hat. Yes, you encounter a three-cornered hat. Perfect. Uh, two, to cross the moat, you would use A, a beanstalk, B, a drawbridge, C, an alligator. <laughs> Honestly, all three of them, depending. If you're doing it a uh, pitfall style, you can jump on the alligator heads. Three, after you cross the moat, you come to a large door made of A, tree leaves, B, oak, or C, glass beads. I mean, if it's tree leaves, it'll be easy to break through. Four, to get in the castle door, you need A, a key, B, a rubber pan, or C, a hammer. <laughs> Congratulations, you completed the journey. Check your answers against the answers listed below. Give yourself one point for each right answer. Answer all four questions correctly and put your name inside the ring. I can write my name in the ring, like whether I get the questions right or not. And again, this uh, this Orthanc ma this Orthanc maze here. It's um, escape Saruman's tower. Saruman is a dark wizard who lives in a large, scary tower, and it doesn't look like this on top. But for the sake of kids' meal toys, I don't need to go through the maze because I'll just summon an eagle to help me. And then on the back, the ad for collecting all the toys, which you know my family did. We consumed a lot of Burger King in December of 2001 because it was important to get them all. They all have these little stands and we're gonna put them together. There was also one toy in this box who was not actually supposed to be here, but he kind of blended in with the others. Uh, this guy is from the wrong movie. <laughs> and is not a kid's meal toy. But, you know, the original version of this guy, after all, was a ripoff of, um, where is he? Of this guy. So, uh, this guy, in his original form, was just Lucas doing this guy. So, he's not so out of place here. They both have fought this guy. So, uh, <laughs> I am very likely to discover that I do not actually have all of the toys in this box, and I am... Um, Still missing. Some of them got shoved in a different box. This looks like Celeborn. I don't think that's Elrond. Uh, but here's Celeborn's stand. So, pardon me, gents. Just squeezing right between you two. It's almost like this thing is dumb. We got Celeborn set up. <laughs> Everyone's favorite question mark character. Galadriel's barely present husband. All right, here's a stand for Bilbo. Bilbo, Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Only three inches tall, and he goes there. He looks very smug about having the ring. Like there's a very there's a very smug smirk on Bilbo's face. I'd be curious how much of the plastic of these has kind of warped just from being in a box in my parents' garage for so long. All right, here is Legolas's stand. Legolas next to Celeborn, even though you know it's just because they're both elves. And here is Legolas himself and his famous uh, plastic netting on his bow. <laughs> the fun thing about kids' meal toys is they almost fit together as they're supposed to. I also never noticed before, but there's very faint writing on here that says, Legend tells of a ring believed lost for centuries that has now been found. That's lines from the trailer <laughs> of Lord of the Rings, which I remember having to watch on frickin' real player on a dial-up modem. Do some of these only work in specific spots? Legolas is in position. Okay, so this one, this is Aragorn's, but he's still called Strider at this point. That snapped in easily enough. 
and Legolas, you stand on your stand. Stand on your stand. And I think this one's Aragorn because he's got the torch that he throws at the ring rate. So almost fits in place. So yeah, I'm going to assume that one is supposed to be... Huh. And of course, everyone's favorite character, Cave Troll. I'll put Cave Troll and Celeborn together if Cave Troll can play nicely. So also, I don't know if I have to like twist the top part of the ring one in certain positions because like it's got a little thing that's supposed to like trigger the buttons on all of these and again I fully don't expect the audio to actually still work anyway we got a cave troll look the Tolkien elves were at one point animated by Rankin Bass so also did you know that the cave troll was not that much taller than an elf they have a cave troll cuckoo kachoo that is not something I'm doing in uh, Lord of the Ringo, but it's um, something I considered. All right, so Gandalf's stand. There, Gandalf defeated the cave troll just by trying to get a seat next to him. Everyone's fallen. Oh, no, there's the part that's kids' meal toys were not built for sturdiness. Gandalf here looks very just tired of this shit. And also, uh, Glamdring's hilt looks like a lightsaber hilt. So, again, maybe this guy's not nearly as out of place in this box as I thought. I remember his soundbite is supposed to be, Speak friend and enter. Which, you, I feel like drawing attention to that line spoils that it's a riddle. But, you know, Boromir. This one's definitely Boromir because he's got the Horn of Gondor. Never goes anywhere without his Horn of Gondor. Oh, that see, that's what I should have pitched when I did the Tolkien armchair Imagineering a few years ago. It's just like wizard electronic fortune tellers. The Main Street fortune tellers, but all wizards. The White Council of um, um, of Zoltar. I almost said Zardoz. My theory is maybe they needed the sound bites to be like real short. You figure the voice boxes on these things are probably like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much data they can actually save on a voice recording in a 2001 kids meal toy. So maybe you shall not pot well, it was like like they had to be under a second and a half. And that was just a little too long. One of these is Mary and one of them is Pippin. And this one looks a little more like Mary. This one looks a little more like Pippin, but I'm kind of guessing. I mean, back when that was where you did the panning for gold, now it's back at Ghost Rider. Okay, yes, this does appear to be Mary. Also, Mary's feet are huge and not particularly hairy for hobbit feet. You know what they say about a hobbit with big feet? Again, I guess this one is Sam. Even though, just process of elimination, everyone else looks more like other characters than Sam. And also, Sam's stand, yeah, that, that that appears to fit. The little, like, pegs are in theory supposed to make these things, like, clip on. But we all know this doesn't work. Ah! I found Elrond. He was at the bottom of the box. Stay there, Strida. Elrond doesn't have, like, a peg or a hole to fit him in. He's just bottom heavy enough, I guess, that they're trusting him to be able to stay there. It was a missed opportunity to not have Elrond refer in the movie to Frodo at any point as Mr. Underhill in the Mr. Anderson tone. All right, here's Galadriel, and I guess her stand is kind of in the shape of the mirror. Was she supposed to come with the mirror? This is just like that animatronic of her waving as they go away on the boat it's honestly yeah I, re I remember even at the time you know as a kid thinking like it's cool that they had so many like the fact that they even have Celeborn is still shocking to me <laughs> Galadriel and Elrond because they share right next to each other because they have way more uh chemistry in both trilogies than Galadriel and her own husband do. When fellowships on a pizza, you can have pizza anytime. Here we go. We can put Strider next to Arwen, next to his one true love with an inconsistent tone throughout the movies. And she's on a horse, like she's an Old Spice commercial. <laughs> the horse as the extender of the elf. This cave troll should have been real easy to defeat if he can't even stand up. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I would have been really impressed if they had toys for characters who didn't make it into the movie. Like if there was a secret toy for Glorfindel and Bombadil and Bill Fernie. If those toys had existed, I probably would have used those in the uh, support group sketch instead of casting actual friends of mine. But it was more fun with actual friends of mine. <laughs> All right. Well, we put one romantic pair next to each other. 
So I think it's only fair we put the other. It's important to put Gimli right next to Legolas. Ooh, Gimli can kind of do the twist. There we go. I have to like pull the feet apart to get it to actually snap on there. There we are. Again, uh, not as much of a height discrepancy between them. Lurts. There is a toy for Lurts, the completely made up for the film captain of the Urukai. I guess completely made up is an overstatement because he is like kind of an amalgamation of general uh, general Urukais who do show up in the text, but the mostly made up captain of the Urukai. <laughs> the Uruk family. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I also got to raise his arm just to get him to fit in. And we'll put Lurtz next to his creator, Saruman, who's really caressing his palantir like a bowling ball and also who looks more like in the face looks more like gandalf the white than saruman i wish he had uh read an audiobook of it so he could have been everyone <laughs> this is the armchair imagineering now okay we only got three left here we got pippin and here is what we've narrowed down to be pippin holding a torch because i guess he does that like he, he doesn't not do that I will put him right next to Saruman so we can get uh, excited about the Palantir a little earlier. And then we got Orc. You know, just Orc. Just any old Orc. This one doesn't have a name. And I guess that's this one with the faceplate. Nanu, Nanu, halflings. The Orc is not sturdy. And of course, finally, that leaves us with only one character left. Frodo, whose face is not green, but who looks... Okay, that face looks like somebody, but I can't place it. Th those very thick eyebrows and that head shape, very familiar to me, and I can't place it. He uh, is drawing Sting and perhaps holding the ring in his fist or perhaps just holding a fist. But yeah, I can't place who that looks like, but that's not important. What's important is that the Fellowship and Friends is about to be complete right there. And there you have it, the complete collection of Lord of the Rings kids meal toys from Burger King. I'm trying to do the math on how often we add Burger King. Do we ask for specific toys each time? I can't remember, was Burger King doing a thing at the time where you could like just buy the toys separately and not have to actually get the meal? Because uh, usually these promotions only run like a month or two. And granted, there were five of us in the family. And if we all ordered kids meals, but uh, to ensure that we... We must have been able to ask for specific toys. Like, that must have been it because because we don't have duplicates. What's supposed to happen is, like, this little arrow here, whichever one it's pointing to when you twist it around, is supposed to, like, do, light up and do its sound bite. I don't remember what all the sound bites were. I just remember Gandalf was speak, friend, and enter. And I mostly remember that because it was in the commercial. I remember Frodo's was, power can be held in the smallest of things, which is not a line he actually says in the movie. Ormir has fallen... History repeats itself to the Avengers Serval Shop of the Ba 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 Hello, I'm an orc. I don't belong here. Ba 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 What did we learn today, kids? We learned that uh I come from a family of hoarders. <laughs> and we also still have, for most of them, the little uh, instructions or whatever that came with them. Legolas. Legolas the elf has keen eyesight and is an expert with the bow and arrow. Press down on the ring and activate Legolas' special... Special power is knocking over the camera. Go to BurgerKing.com and enter Legolas' magic message and check out some really cool Lord of the Rings stuff. I will tell you, another thing that I that my family has hoarded... We have all the, from uh, from two years before this, we have all the Phantom Menace Pepsi cans. Um, and those included, you know, those all had like a secret word hidden somewhere on the picture. And you were supposed to like collect them all and unveil a message. And we never did that part. But we have all the cans. Sam. Sam is Frodo's best friend and loves to cook. Put down in the ring and watch the flames on the base light up. So basically, uh, Sam's effect is supposed to be that he's cooking. Uh, and his magic message is hobbits like to eat a second breakfast, which would make more sense for Pippin's, uh, magic message than anyone else's. But, oh, we were, we were collecting the cans before we saw the Marfalump commercial about them. But then the Marfalump commercial, as soon as I saw it, lived in my head rent-free forever. 
Strider. Strider is a mortal man and sworn protector of Frodo. Spoiler alert. I am a ranger, protector of, of the forest surrounding the Shire. They don't actually get into that. Um, they don't actually get into that in the movie that the that the Dunedain have been uh, protecting the Shire this whole time. And apparently uh, still are because the scouring doesn't need to happen in the movie. Celeborn. Celeborn is the husband of the Elven Queen Galadriel. Push down on the ring to activate Celeborn's special hidden powers, which seems to just be lighting up. Magic message. With Galadriel, I rule the elven realm of Lothlorien. Uh, let's be real, Galadriel does most of the ruling. You're just kind of there, too. Also, your other name is Teleporno. I don't remember what Bilbo's soundbite was. They might not have all had soundbites. Some of them might have just lit up, but Bilbo definitely had a soundbite. Mary. Mary accompanies Frodo from Hobbiton on his quest to Middle-earth. Press down on the ring and watch Mary's lantern light up. Magic message. I am three foot six inches tall. So unlike Bilbo, you're not only three feet tall. Gandalf. Gandalf is a wise and powerful wizard and leader of the Fellowship. Press down on the ring to hear a special message from Gandalf. And that's speak, friend, and enter. I have traveled to Middle-earth for thousands of years. Yeah, I definitely don't have the uh, instructions for all of them. But I do have plenty of official Burger King Kids Club membership applications. And I hope they still accept me. Also, it's wild that there is both Lurts and an Orc, but there's no ring wraith, right? Like, that that seems like something. Well, here we have one last time. They're not built to last, but here's all of them. <laughs> that would be the best toy ever. Well, friends, this was a trip down memory lane for me. We had this displayed, uh, my brother and I. <laughs> Stubborn little cave troll. Should have replaced the cave troll with the ring wraith. He could at least fit. We had this uh, on our bedroom dresser for many years, just all set up like this. And I'm sure that's when the battery died, was when we would occasionally, you know, make the sound or the light happen. <laughs> and as you can see, the structural integrity leaves something to be desired. But it's fun that we still have these, I suppose. And now they are probably going to go back in my parents' garage for a while. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, next time I do like a, a Hobbit Day party or something... This will just go on the center. Thank you all for joining us today. Yeah, tomorrow's stream will probably just be another game. Uh, but this was a fun trip down memory lane for me. We'll see you with the next things next time. And until then, this is Dave signing off.